Hey. Hello. Guess who's Ooh. back? We are so back. We're so back after two months. <laughs> we are so back. But you know what? We dressed extra fancy for you today. We are dressing to impressing. That's right. You. 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 So we hope you're watching. You might be listening. But uh, if you pop on over the two of the youb. Yep. We're here. We are looking. We're here. Spazzy. One of us is queer. Snazzy. And we're ready for it. That's right. Snazzy. <laughs> spazzy? <laughs> spazzy. Maybe, maybe our yeah. energy is spazzy, but we're looking snazzy. Yeah. We have both had long days. Yes. Well, you more than me, to be honest. Yeah. But most of the time. It's pretty chill. I feel like probably on a weekly basis, you probably have more long days than me. <laughs> you're like, yeah, all right. Sure, sure. We'll you, roll with that. I feel like generally speaking, you're more uh you're a more productive person than me. Like if there was a way to like quantifiably measure it, like productivity on a weekly basis, I would imagine yours is higher than mine. You think? Yeah, I think so. You don't think so? I don't know. I don't, I never feel like I'm doing enough. Well, so yeah. maybe that Yeah. I don't know. That I get. Yeah. But like if I <laughs> if I don't have anything to do, I won't do anything. Hmm. I mean, I certainly spend lots of time napping with my cats. I mean, that's productive. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, my cats would say so. You're enriching their lives. I am. Which, that's your responsibility as a pet owner. I am. Mm -hmm. And it's probably the reason why they're so attached to me. Oh, yeah, they love yeah, you. Yeah, they get lots of enrichment. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but welcome in. If mm -hmm. you're if, if this is your first time... Oh, yeah. We didn't we, do our intro. We're, yeah, we're two, two friends. Yeah. That like to yap. Welcome back to Ginger Unscripted. Ginger Unscripted. Your favorite unscripted podcast with two gingers, one real, one fake. We're not telling you which is which. Who's who? I don't even look like a ginger right now, do I? Yeah. And it's like, yeah. I still do? Yeah. Can never beat the alligators. You can't, especially <laughs> with the beard. <laughs> yeah. I mean, come in, come yeah. in. There it is. Yeah, so, you know, we're just here to yap. Yeah, we're Maybe here. give you a little bit of entertainment. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. Maybe you'll hate it. You know, I just got a DM the other day that was like, or a comment that was like, I just found your podcast and <gasps> I fucking love it. I love that. So thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Welcome in. Mm -hmm. If you saw me, I always feel like we're out of focus. So if yeah. you ever see me leaning in, friends, that's, that's okay. what I'm some, doing. Some people are just maybe listening. But yeah. I think the majority of people watch. I do. I do think. Comment below. Do you watch? Do you watch do you or listen? listen? But I, d I don't even know how to comment on Spotify. I know we get comments yeah. on Spotify. So maybe you're listening on Spotify and you're like, yes, I am. But you'll ne we'll never know because we'll never how do you comment? <laughs> but we're so sorry for taking two months, guys. Yes. Dorothy was traveling. Yep. I was busy. Yep. But we're back. We are. We're so back. So back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is, like Dorothy says, your first time pod this is listening to a podcast. Yeah. Really, all we do is show up and talk because we like talking. We do love and to talk. We both have audiences that enjoy listening to us talk. Supposedly. Which we're yes. Very thankful for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so this is where we get together. We usually read your comments, answer questions. Yep. And then uh, oftentimes we have subjects or questions or things that we think would be fun to discuss. Yep. And then usually we close it out with like a word of wisdom. Yeah. And yeah, we try to do it monthly. This time was bi-monthly, but you know, <laughs> now we're here. Now we're here. Now we're here. Shall we dapple into the first yeah. question? Let's jump into the viewer questions Wonderful. first. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can pop back and forth. Mm -hmm. We have Megan Holland said, do either of you have a memory of watching a movie as a kid, seeing a specific character outfit, and then it became your entire personality? That feels like a targeted question towards like bi people. Is that like a more or like yeah? Do bi people do this more? I feel like I've just seen so many like TikToks and stuff about like bi awakenings and then or like certain characters and like making it your whole personality. Or maybe let me know in the comments below. I just haven't heard too many like maybe of my guy friends being like mm. I or you know what? Let me let me expand this. Maybe if we broaden it from just outfit. To just character. Well, I think it's just like something about them in general. Yeah, you okay. maybe major because I don't think I, that I totally yeah. agree with. But yeah. I don't think I've ever seen someone's outfit and been like, "I'm making my whole personality." Uh, yeah, that. yeah. But I think there have been tons of like characters, whether in video games or TVs or whatever, yeah. and then being like, "I'm basing my so whole give us, personality." Give us one. Well, not for me, but like in general, I feel like uh, just like. Uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt in like 500 Days of Summer. I feel like a mm -hmm. lot of guys saw that and were like, I'm making that my mm -hmm. personality. What about you? What did you base your personality off of? Mm -hmm. You know, before it was cool, I was a big Ryan Reynolds fan. <laughs> <laughs> like just friends, Ryan Reynolds. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
I like I was like a little kid and just like laughing at his like style of like sardonic humor. Yeah. I never was anti Ryan Reynolds, even when like in his Green Lantern phase. <laughs> and I know now it's like a, a joke where it's like every man loves Ryan Reynolds and like I hate to like be a hipster about it. Yeah. But like I had just friends on DVD in like 2004, mm-hmm. 2006. So Ryan Reynolds was a big one for you me. I liked him before Heath he was Ledger cool. was a big one for me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, A Knight's Tale. Yeah. <sighs> 10 Things I Hate About You. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then also, this is like a bit of a deep cut, sort of. There's a show called Stargate Atlantis. Okay. And one of the characters is named John Shepard. Uh-huh. Pretty much I liked any character that was like nonchalant, mm-hmm. but like very sardonic. Uh-huh. Yeah. I see. Yeah. What about you? Very nice. Well, when I read that question, the first thing yeah. that came to my mind is when I became obsessed with the Hunger Games, I read mm-hmm. all the books and mm-hmm. watched the movies. I put my hair in a braid for (laughs) like a solid year. Yeah. Uh, So I definitely made that part of my personality. But I also feel like every time I, for me, it's more when I actually read books rather than when I watch movies. Um, And whoever the main character is, I, I'm like, Oh, this is, this is me now. This is my entire personality. Totally fair. Yeah. (laughs) Totally, totally fair. Yeah. You got something for us over there? You know, the first thing I wrote was virtue signaling followers. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know. Maybe it was in reference to the live stream I came into of yours with the with the Gaza girl. Uh-huh. I don't know. I don't know what. So the thing is, I write notes whenever I think of something for us to talk about because but because it's been so long, <laughs> I don't really remember all of it. I think I just wanted to talk about like um like the amount of like virtue signaling online, mm-hmm. but we often think about it in terms of like creators. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I do think there's a lot of it like happening, like in TikTok, like with uh, I guess like followers slash like consumers of it. Mm-hmm. And was curious like you have if you've thought of it at all, if you've noticed it at all, because like at the end of the day, like. Someone commenting an emoji in a comment section is like, you're not helping anybody. Um, and I just was curious. like, Yeah, you know. I mean, I think with the age of TikTok especially, yeah. there's a lot of um, keyboard warriors, mm-hmm. people that feel like they're uh, really doing something just by like yeah. typing something in a comment. And it really, uh, it really does. It seems just <laughs> as bad as the people who like needlessly spread hate. Yeah. It's like yeah. it's it's like you're kind of contributing to the same thing. Yeah. It's just like on the other side. Yep. I guess yep. there wasn't too much with that one. Nope. I guess I, <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure a month and a half ago I had something else. So instead I have Sabrina Carpenter, please, please, hey. please, yes. Barry. Yeah, love that. <laughs> just that's it. What do you th- what do you think about um it seemed like such a smart move on her part yeah because one it's like people love relationships online Mm -hmm. they love to ship so and she's bringing in like her hot ish rat boyfriend irish dude Mm -hmm. um but she's like covering her ass because the whole premise of the story is like don't fuck me this up yeah I love it. I mean, that song is going to be my number one on my Spotify yeah, wrapped. I, it was stuck in everyone's head. She's the I, queen I of pop right now. I was addicted to it. And now I just, I migrated from like that to Espresso to now mm-hmm. Feather, which is one of her older releases. Oh, yeah. uh-huh. And now I'm like hooked on Feather. I'm listening to it every time I get in the car. So she just, she has a knack for Yeah, she's putting so good that at making pop. Addicting. She is the, like a real life songs. Polly Pocket. Yeah, she is. I but know. I love it. I, I mean, I just feel like that song is so relatable to the core because that's how yeah. I've felt with every single relationship I've ever been in. No, I <laughs> get that. Please don't fucking embarrass uh, me. I connected with Feather Please. for that reason. Yeah. Like, wow, I cut you off and all of a sudden I feel, I feel so great. I feel so much better. Oh, my God. Yeah, very relatable. Those TikTok trends where it's like, uh, it's like, don't choose sides in a breakup. Just see who gets in another relationship and who glows. Glows. And, you know, I'll say nothing more on that. Yep. But I will say I always glow up. (laughs) Yeah, I'm feeling much better, honestly. (laughs) (laughs) And we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. All right. Next question. Desi Adams said, who were your childhood crushes from your favorite shows or movies as a kid? I had so many. I had so, so many. Danny Phantom. She, uh, the girl from Danny Phantom, but more so, I would say Shigo. 
Love that, it's yeah. Like impossible. Also, Trixie from Fairy Odd Parents. Oh, okay. I That's liked uh, the goth girl from Total Drama Island. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I was really, I had a, I went in phases. I had a Rachel McAdams phase. Mm-hmm. I had a Jennifer Garner phase. Mm-hmm. Um, I had, a, I had a big Emma Stone phase. She yeah. was like in my binder. So if anyone's listening that still goes to high school, first of all, turn this off. <laughs> but second of all, we used to have <laughs> things called binders <laughs> that were, uh, how do you even describe a binder? How are you explaining? <laughs> I'm sure they know what a, please know they, what a they, binder they is. They probably don't use them anymore, right? They have. You have no, to use binders. A, they all use iPads and laptops no. now. No. Yeah. No. No, you're right. I hope not. Anyways, uh, you used to like decorate your binder, and I literally took, I think it was like a Maybelline ad of wow. Emma Stone, because she just looks like so flawless. The magazine and cut I just, out. And I just put yeah. it in there. Had a big Emma Stone face. I love, I love, love a sardonic girl. Yeah. Um, I see that for you. And, you know, love that. Yeah. Uh, Jessica Alba. Oh, yeah. With Fantastic Four. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh! Or uh, I think she was in Good Luck Chuck, and I think mm. you saw her in like bra and panties, and I died. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think there's like a scene where she like takes off her like dress and like runs into the bedroom, and you like see oh. like you see like her like a bit of butt cheek. Yeah. And I was like 14. I was like, yeah. whoa. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. nilly. Uh, this uh. one never went away. I've always loved Victoria Justice. Yeah. Like from Zoe 101 yeah. and then onward. I used to watch Victoria's just for her. Never understood why she got the hate. Mm. that feels like Ariana Grande propaganda. <laughs> and I love that we're now like sort of churning on her, but she's, she's too big to cancel. But like, I feel like now we like see through it. But like during the victorious days, everyone was at that clip of like, they're all talking and it's like, they're like, who's the best singer? Yeah. And then everyone's like, Ari, Ari, Ari. And then yeah. Victoria's like, I think we all sing. And then like back then everybody's like, you're a fucking pick me. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, whatever. Yeah. And now we're like justice for her. <laughs> but like, she has not aged. Yeah. She's beautiful. And one looks like uh I don't know. Not the wicked, wi- wicked witch of the West, because she's like doing wicked right now, right? But yeah, she's, oh, she's I'm so excited for that. Is she like? I don't know. I feel like eventually karma gets you, mm. and you start to kind of like similar with the breakup, like see who glows up mm-hmm. and who doesn't. Like I do think if you're like a bad person, eventually you Catches start to phys- you. you start to physically I like to manifest so. that um, for the people that have wronged me. Yeah, I think so too. I hope you get. I hope you get ugly. Me. Wait, who were your other crushes? Um, I mean, okay, I guess I was like Megan Fox and Transformers, but oh I think we're God, we're yes. starting to get like towards the older years. So I was thinking well, more like, like childhood, childhood. Yeah. You were like twelve, weren't you? Two thousand eight. Yeah, I guess I was twelve. 12? I, I guess I was thinking younger than that, but twelve is like a right no, age. I think, for I, think crushes. I think anything before yeah. eighteen. Yeah. You can still childhood. talk. Yeah, you're a minor. Yeah. <laughs> Megan Fox. Yeah, I mean that Transformer scene. Come on now. Oh yeah, I was really into Katy Perry for a while, which is oh. kind of embarrassing to say now. I only have one poster up in my childhood bedroom, and oh, it's like Katy Perry. I know every lyric to every song on the Teenage Dream album because that came out when I was like a junior. And I remember, I, I remember vividly. I was at Matt Kirk's pool party. Oh, yep. And t- and uh, uh, California Girls came on, and everybody already so knew the good. lyrics, and I didn't. And I was like, bro. I'm in California. <laughs> I love California girls. <laughs> I need to know these lyrics. I was like, I need, and then so I think I bought it on iTunes. One of the like three Got albums. Got to studying. I had yeah, but now it's kind of embarrassing to say you, you had a crush on Katy Perry. I mean, not really. But she was different. Yeah, I mean, we all. I feel like I still remember Katy Perry as like teenage dream Katy Perry. Yeah, I, but I now she like. Gives me like weird vibes. Like I feel like there's she is strange. I feel like there's a bunch of like American Idol moments. She like gives me like uh like older teacher vibes who's like inappropriate with like <laughs> the teenage boys in class. <laughs> like that's the vibe she gives me. Did you watch her new music video? No, about which one? The new one. Like she just oh, dropped a new song. That no, was about is it like the one where she's female powers? Oh yeah, and it's know. like it's like um I think I saw like a TikTok or an article where it was like, we've moved past like shallow whitewashed white feminism yeah there were so many reasons why people hated like, that I we're think women too, we're like, strong yeah the crew on that too was like all men i don't yeah. know there was like so many things that people hated about it but i have not watched it so yeah. i don't i don't mean I don't to be to hating it. today yeah, don't be a hater i, I kind of have been a hater I sorry guys drinking the hater aid i it's because i'm double caffeinated today and i had I, I had like i had to like battle to get here 
Yeah. It was crazy. Traffic. So we'll turn I'm, I'm anyone holding into on a hater. To, holding on to LA traffic. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, I've got, yeah. okay, I've got Love Island. Yeah. You've you been following it at all? No. Ooh, I, I mean, like I like my it. TikTok feed, unfortunately, yeah, is mine just too. flooded with Love Island, but I so have not been watching it. My question is, how would you ever do a reality show? No. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> at for, at, this was me for a long time. But um, it weirdly, because I feel like there was like a holdover with actors where it was like, well, don't do reality because yeah. then like no one will ever take you seriously. Yeah. But it does feel like, and I'm curious what you think, it feels like reality shows have hit a new level in the past couple of years. Mm-hmm. Like maybe that's in regard to TikTok. Maybe it's because like uh, uh, international reality shows have like kind of changed the game mm-hmm. a little bit. So would you still ever do reality? Is there any situation you would do it or just like hard now? Yeah. Um, so I, I've done HGTV um, yeah. and I was open. Yeah. I, I thought I told you this. No, tell yeah. us now. Yeah. So I did um, an HGTV spot called Roommate Hunters. And the only reason why I was willing to do it is because like it was like House Hunters, but yeah. where like when was this? you're like a few years ago. Is it, is it out in the ether? Would yeah. Yeah. I probably have like footage of. We're not putting up a clip, but pause this, watch <laughs> it and then come back. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where you'd be able to find it, but I'm sure it's They'll somewhere out it. there. It put it a, put like, a link down below if you. It was like on cable, you know what yeah. I mean. But or put it in one of our discords. <laughs> I have like I think I have like all the clips though of me and yeah. my dad watching it on the TV on the couch. This is why we have to start live streaming this, and then <laughs> and then people can like give <laughs> like, it to us in real yeah, time. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, but I was willing to do that because it was HGTV and that specific show. I felt like I could navigate it to paint me in like a very wholesome yeah. light, Did and it? I was very yes, I yeah. was very intentional about like what I said and everything and it literally like it was very it was very normal like it was just like me being Dorothy um looking for a hat like looking for a did you find it through like a breakdown service or was it because were you still were you an influencer I don't know this was like before before um, all that I don't even know. I don't even remember. Like weirdly, I feel like somebody reached out on Facebook. I don't Ooh, even know. Like so out. weird how random it came up. Yeah. Um, I was doing like acting at this point. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I yeah, I think I might have like was made this a connection. Your Mel's era? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think I had worked with somebody for some film and she mm. also worked in reality TV and she just reached out to me and was like, would you be interested in this? I think that oh, may have been okay. what happened. Um, but yes. So in that case, like, I feel like for me, it's, it's, there's certain things I'd possibly be open to, but yeah. reality, like, it, they, you know, they can really morph you in it's post all in the into cut, being, it's yeah, all terrible in and yeah. painting your image horribly. So yeah. I would only ever do something where I felt like I, even if they tried their best in post, yeah, yeah. Um, it would still paint me in a good light. Yeah. You know? I have been anti it for a long time. Did I tell yeah. you my sister nominated me for yeah, The Bachelorette? Yeah, 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 yeah. My sister let me know. She's like, oh, I nominated you for The Bachelorette. Because my understanding is the way that it works is like anyone can nominate anybody. But then obviously, like if you're well known online or like you mm. campaign, you'll get more nominations and ah. whatever. And she just like subtly dropped that lore on me. <laughs> but I never wanted to do it, especially when I first started acting. And like I worked in reality, like I was like a PA on a couple of reality sets mm. and they're just so bad. Yeah. But now that it's like kind of different and I feel like I could just be authentically myself because my biggest hang up would be I don't want to do anything where I can't just say I'm an actor. Yeah. Because, like, that's the most important thing to me. Like, that's my goal. Yeah. I've been dedicating years of my life and money and training. Blah, 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 blah. Um, so I don't want to lie. Yeah. And, and I, fun fact, pretty much every reality show demands you say you're something, anything else yeah. but an actor. Yeah. But now I feel like because it's changing, I feel like they might be more open to it. I wonder. Um, but I don't think I'd be interested in any of the love-based ones. Yeah. But I would be interested, like, when I was younger, I was like, I would destroy Big Brother. Like, I would love, like, yeah, I would just yeah, absolutely yeah. do it. I have strategies. I used to watch it as a kid or Survivor. Yeah. Um, but my sister did have a good point. She was like, she's like, yeah, I feel like you could just go on The Bachelorette, treat it like a meme, be nice to the girl, but, like, literally your focus is, like, just making buds with the dudes. Yeah. yeah. And I just show up and I, like, I, I was thinking about it and I was, like, maybe I was a little high and I was just cracking myself up. <laughs> thinking about like doing all the love challenges or whatever and just cheering on the other guys. Like they do something. I'm like, dude, she's going to fucking love that dude. I'll be like, way to go, Brad. And I'd like talk to her. I'd be like, Jay, he's kind of a fucking hunk. And they'd be like, dude, you're supposed to be advocating for yourself. I'm like, I can't help it. Look at him. 
So, uh, but then I feel like they'd kick me off pretty yeah, quickly. Yeah, so, yeah, that's the thing. Because you like, got to be there I, for the journey. I know. Oh, yeah, I feel like they yeah. would probably but Maybe I'd fall in love. Who hate, knows? Yeah. Because usually if you're not adding to, like, the drama, then they give you the boot somehow. Yeah, well, maybe the drama could be that, uh, like, some insecure dudes, like, don't like me. It wouldn't be the first yeah. time that an insecure man had a problem with me, and I'm like, who even are you? Yeah. Uh, I'm like, what's <laughs> like that? Uh, Who even are you? <laughs> that Madison uh, Bear clip I saw. I think that was like one of her come ups. Like, I, I don't know a lot about Gen Z lore, but Madison I think when she, Bear, uh, Beer, 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 Madison beer. Beer. beer, Beer, isn't it spelled like Bear? No. Ah, damn. All right, so there you go. I'm love clearly, it, love it, I'm love clearly, it. I'm turning thirty. I'm not. I shouldn't even be allowed to talk about this stuff. But <laughs> I saw a clip on TikTok, and I think part of her come up, you know, was like I think she had like a, a clip that went viral. Where she was like wearing fur, and it was like it looked like, like uh, like a high school circle, like you remember when we were younger, like you, there'd be like a fight, and then like everybody would yeah. show up, and like it'd be two would square off, yeah. and a lot of the times it was just two people like verbally yelling at each other, yeah. or whatever. So it was like that, but the Gen Z version, and the girl was like, oh, and so Madison was like, it's like yeah, so I heard you were talking shit, and you wanted like pull up on me or whatever, and the girl is like. Was like, yeah, like you did so and so to my friend, and she's like, "Who's your friend?" You know, and I like. <laughs> I didn't know that. Yeah. That, that's so funny. Um, I feel like I'd I'd have something like that where they'd yeah. be mad. I'd be like, "Bro, what's your name again?" Like, yeah, uh, I don't know. Just did. <laughs> so, <laughs> so but I feel like you would do really well on like on a on a reality show, like one of those yeah. love ones. Like I feel like everybody would fall in love with you, and you. Would I just, do like, think I would. I just I and you know I honestly do think like with enough determination and marketing, yeah. you could just like change your you know totally. image entirely. That's what my and, sister and was saying. Like just like, go there, be a mean, get millions it. of followers, yeah. or like like uh, Rob from Love Island was yeah. just in Nessa's music video. Yeah, and like some other shit, and I'm like, yeah, really. And you know, like we're in this industry, like uh, followers are a commodity. So like, you know, if you do one thing and you get big enough, like you can then leverage that into other opportunities. So yeah. like, maybe it'd be worthwhile to go on a reality show, dick around, become the fan favorite, yeah. dip. And then all of a sudden Hollywood's on the line. Like, hey, we want you to do this. Yeah. I'd be down. Like if I, uh, the only uh, nominate us, Hey, maybe they'll do a, what if there was like a, 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 a friend bachelor bachelorette season together where we're buds and we're both trying to find our people, <laughs> but and it's just like double dates the whole time. And everyone's like, why are they together? And I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> we're both looking for love, but we got each other's backs. <laughs> wingman and wing woman. Yeah. Wingman bachelor bachelorette. Edition. They did old people one. Why can't yeah. they do that one? Pitch it, guys. Make it Twitter. Pitch it. Twitter. Twitter. We're, neither one of us has a Twitter presence. Make it. No, <laughs> not at all. My Twitter is just my thoughts. It's. I don't even have my username. There's a Zach Cowman on Twitter, so I'm Zach Cowman one. Damn. I know, and I'm not gonna rob your gonna Twitter. Pay, some random guy, but I'm certainly not gonna pay for it. Yeah. I have like 400 followers. Yeah. Maybe so. maybe one day maybe one day it, you'll just be Zach. You think? Yeah, I think if I get big enough, yeah. I could just be Zach. Or I'd even Would you take, like to just be Zach? Yeah, that'd be cool. I realized I kind of set myself up poorly with the whole cowman thing. <laughs> no, like, you have to use the cowman. Yeah, I mean, I just did it as like a pun, as a joke, <laughs> yeah. like randomly. Um, but now I like now I get like legal documents with cowman, and people mm. like don't know my name, or I just did this Quinn shoot thing. And every time I introduced myself, I had to say, like, hi, my name is Zachary Cowan, a.k.a. Zachary <laughs> Cowman. And, like, yeah, people, <laughs> I, like, I think somebody, like, messaged me and they, they were like, yeah, you're Cowman in my phone. I'm like, all right, well, whatever. Yeah. But if you get big enough, eventually you'll just have people in the comments correct other people for you. Yeah. So you guys true. just correct people for me. Great. Yeah. Boom. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> all over uh, place, Jack... Right? 94, mm. sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, it's with a Q, How can you, oh. said, uh, when you are angry or upset, what do you guys do to blow off some steam? I have such boring answers. I work out. Mm -hmm. Or I get high. Yeah. <laughs> I feel people have been asking me lately for like mental health advice and stuff. And I feel so bad because I'm like, I'm like, have you tried getting high? <laughs> like literally on my worst days, like when my when I feel like I could I wish I could take my brain out of my skull and just scrub it, I pop a little gummy and suddenly life is Everything better. Is but I'm certainly legally 
not advocating for drug use. <laughs> no. Unless you live in a state where it's legal, then give it a shot. Yeah, unless you're Cali sober, as they say. Yeah. What do you do to blow off steam? Um, actually, like, okay, so I'm not somebody who gets angry, like, ever. If I'm angry, something must yeah. really or sad. be wrong. So if I'm, um, very angry or very sad, mm-hmm. I paint, actually. I what? paint, And I'm not a painter, okay? I don't okay. paint. Well, and you probably don't even know this about me. No, I me. don't. I draw. Oh, I love that. Yeah. I want to see your drawings. No. <laughs> <laughs> Great, because you can't see my face. Yeah, cool. <laughs> um, we should have a Bob Ross uh, 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 episode. Where we, we'll that would paint. be awesome. Yeah, I'm right. down. Let's go to Michael's. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, sponsor us. <laughs> yeah, if you're listening. <laughs> if you're listening, We Michael. get about 700 views on these. <laughs> Could be Michael's on the line. Could be Michael's. That's like uh, to everybody tag Michael's in the comments. <laughs> we could fill up like a couple bleachers <laughs> where the people who listen to this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'll usually paint the emotion <sighs> that I'm feeling, and it actually really helps a lot. And then if I'm sad, I watch um, Mamma Mia and cry it out. Right on. Yeah, and uh, that's that's pretty much. Mamma Mia is a good is a good one. Pretty much it, yeah. yeah. Usually, just like cry, and then I feel better. Yeah, I do a lot of crying too. Yeah, I it's love a good you. cry. Mm-hmm. I've I've like recently realized how far I've come with like being okay with my emotions because a lot of the big things with like negative emotions is a lot of times you're also guilt tripping yourself simultaneously for feeling the emotion. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I used to beat myself up all the time. Like, why do I feel this? Sad? Why do yeah. I, why do I feel? And I now, feel like this. yeah. And now I'm just like, okay, I'm all sad. Let's have a cry. Oh, okay, totally. It's better. Just jump into it. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. What you got? Uh, I just wrote verticals. Have we told, have we told everybody about your verticals? All this yeah, stuff we did briefly talk about it last time. I do remember that because oh, okay. people had said, but now you have something that's out. Had, yeah, I do. What's the name of the app? It's on. Uh, there's a f- couple now. A few of Ooh, them dropped. Said, tell like, us. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, you know, I've been filming these little things. Uh, they're like vertical films on these apps and, um, a few of them are out now. One's on playlet. One's on Playback. Short Max. Whoa. And another one is on Serial Plus. What are the plots of them? Uh, all of them, I mean, kind of have similar plots. That's I'm usually so playing the villain. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, one of them. Mm-hmm. They're always about, like, you know, maybe billionaires, and there's, like, a betrayal. And I'm, there's always a president or a CEO. Yeah, see, big on the CEOs, and I'm usually the person that's, like, bullying people. Yeah, I haven't done one yet, but I auditioned, and they were so funny. Literally, my audition, I walk in and just bitch slap somebody. Yep. Like, at the start, I just boom. There's and I'm so like, many slaps. <laughs> and I'm like, this is the CEO's wife. You can leave. <laughs> He'll do anything for her. Yeah. Yeah. If you got you guys, uh, if you frequent, especially TikTok, that you've probably seen them mm-hmm. start to get promoted more, but they're like yeah. very soapy, melodramatic films. Yeah. Um, so the if other you one, a guy see put a cigar out of my hand, I walk yeah. in, I'm like, I'm here to steal your inheritance. And he went cigar into hand. Gnarly. I didn't get a, I didn't get a call back. I don't know why. Hmm. That was probably too real for them. You know. Hey, honestly, these really come down to look. They sure. really don't care about talent yeah. for these yeah. at all. Like it's solely based mm-hmm. off of look. Um, so whether or not they like they like it suited. Yeah. You know. But check them out. Check out Dorothy. Yeah, yeah. Illegally uh, download the clip and share it with us. Yeah, you know, it's it's tricky. The security on these apps is very tight. You'll likely have to pay. Just yeah. a heads up. If you ever want to get around security, this is how I do it. Like, and I because I steal footage from my friends all the time. Because as an actor, allegedly, allegedly. Um, <laughs> but I think as long as you're not like distributing and like selling and stuff, like you're allowed to do it. I think under like, if it's you, mm-hmm. maybe. Like I think because I think you're allowed. To, oh, maybe not. But I I think it's. Are my we my under- to a crime? Yeah, I guess so. My understanding of like <laughs> copyright and pyrite law and fair use is like as long as there's no intent to distribute, no intent to like sell, like you're allowed to just like take stuff. That but anyways, doesn't seem right. I don't know. Let me know down <laughs> below. Because <laughs> I feel like if you pirate a movie that's being sold just to watch it at home, it's still illegal. <laughs> Yeah, but I thought it was like... But probably worse if you're distributing. Yeah, that was my understanding is that like... Yeah, 
I don't really know. Let us know below. <laughs> but anyways, if you ever like have like something like that, and like because my friends reach out to me and they're like, hey, I was just in this show. I need the footage yeah. like for myself as an actor. But like you know, you can't screen record on your phone or whatever. Get yourself. You, first of all, you have to do it on your computer. Get yourself a third party screen recording software program, whether that's like OBS, Streamlabs, whatever. Um, and then from there, you can usually record your screen while you're watching it. So mm -hmm. that's the workaround I've ever done. If it's a mobile app, then just get like some type of there's emulator programs where you can like log into your phone through the software on your computer and you can do it that way. So that's the best way to steal stuff is just recording your desktop like screen. And that's how you get around it. Allegedly. Allegedly. And I do it for all my friends, allegedly. 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 I'm the guy where they're like, hey, I was just in uh, Grey's Anatomy for like five seconds. I need this. <laughs> I'm like, just send me the timestamps in the episode <laughs> and your login to wherever the heck. Allegedly. Allegedly. So um, following up, my bad, Megan uh, had mentioned... Uh, Wait, that actually, I thought that was with another question. I don't, okay, I don't know actually if this is tied in to, uh, oh, yeah, no, it was with somebody else. Okay, I think it might have been a Jack, part of Jack's question. Okay. What is your happiest place to be? It was a part two. Mm. I think it was about the anger blowing off steam. Yeah. And what's your happiest place to be? Honestly, just a, this is maybe this is sad, but just alone in my apartment with my cat with like no plans, no nothing. <laughs> is that bad? Is that sad? <laughs> is that <laughs> yours? Too? Like being at home, <laughs> having nothing to do, being a little high and like just hanging out with my cats. Yeah. Is like literally my happy place. No, that's 100% what my, yeah. when I first read that question, I was like, it's cuddling so with my cats in bed. And that's really it. It's kind of embarrassing. And maybe like on set, but it's like a different yeah. kind. It's like an Sometimes adrenaline. Sometimes set is terrible. Yeah, that's true. If it's like a good set experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but it's more of like an adrenaline happiness. But when I'm like with my cats, it's just like a peaceful, yeah. a peaceful happiness. That's probably like just, yeah. you know, that, that I've never not enjoyed that. You know, always mm -hmm. reliably peaceful mm -hmm. and Let's happy. do one more because that was a okay. That was a halfsies. A halfsies. Okay, we got a deeper question from Gabby Telfer. Love you, Gabby. Mm -hmm. What are you not willing to settle for in a relationship today that you used to allow? <laughs> we were just talking about this. <laughs> uh, my relevant one right now is um, I'm I don't settle for like not matching energy. Mm -hmm. I used to be. I think just too chill and like too accepting of like if someone was like not matching my energy, like my enthusiasm, whatever, I was just so chill that I was like, oh, that's okay. Like it's mm. no worries. Like I, I I don't mind. Like I'll just be myself. You be yourself. That's totally fine. Now I like just don't do that. Like if the energy is mis mismatched from the start or at yeah. any point, I'm just like goodbye. Because yeah. I'm like, I'm great. I have like a lot of like energy and love to give people. Yeah. And like I'm tired of just like giving that to people and yeah. like. Because I think I think I just used to not care. It just used to like not bother me, yeah. um, and it still doesn't bother me. But now I'm just like life's too short to like spend time with people who are not matching your energy. Yep. Like if you're excited to hang out with someone and they're like being kind of like uh, before, I used to be like, all right, no worries. Like yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Maybe we'll hang out later. It doesn't matter. Now I'm just like, all right, well, s somebody else will match my freak. Yeah. <laughs> somebody gonna match my freak? Somebody gonna match my freak? Yeah. How do you feel about Brat Girl Summer? <laughs> what does Brat Girl Summer look like to you? Brat Girl Summer. Mm -hmm. Um it in it just to me it just is like fuck it. That's what that seems yeah. like to me. Just like kind of maybe making poor decisions, not really caring. Yeah. YOLO for the plot type of like uh, if you had to pick to an it. outfit for Brat Girl Summer, not for you, but like the the costume of Brat Girl Summer, what would it be? Probably a mini skirt. My, I was thinking a mini skirt and like an Aperol spritz. Yeah. And like maybe like a baby tee. Yeah. And maybe like some type of wedges. Yeah. Okay. And a cute little purse. Yeah. Tiny purse, little little clutch. Yeah. Fits literally nothing. Not even your no, iPhone. Just lip gloss. Yeah, that trend where it's like, yeah, uh, this is what yeah, I yeah, 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 yeah. It's <laughs> to like the dinner it's date. like, how much dry are you? Don't worry, it's on the house. Really? You open it up, and it's like, <laughs> my favorite ones are. I think it's if you're gonna do this trend, I think you got to be refreshing, 
And I, and I think just with any trend, like once a trend's been done a few times, you have to think of a creative twist. So don't just open your purse, girlies out there, and let it have lip gloss in it. Have a little knickknack. <laughs> <laughs> I want like a tiny little stress ball that's like shaped like a little alien and you squeeze it and it like poops. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, have, or have, have a Lego miniature in there of like mega mind. Like I want something just totally random. So if you're out there and you were still going to do the trend, that's my advice. That's my requirement. For you to post, you got to do that. I like the ones that have cats. Have you seen that? Yes. It'll yeah. be like a little kitten. <gasps> I saw a lady today. I was driving back from the gym, and she was literally walking across Hollywood Boulevard, and she had a kitten. Literally, she was walking with a kitten, love and it was it. just on her, uh, and just it was just sitting like this and like looking uh, around. Love and it, it was wow. so funny watching everybody like stare and yeah. smile and stuff. And the kitten was so chill. It was just like this, and I was like... That's amazing. And in my mind, I wanted to like... Be like, like, hey, you need a ride or something? Like, what are you doing walking around <laughs> in the middle of nowhere it's Hollywood. with a kitten? Like, where yeah. are you going? Yeah. But I was like, I'm not going to offer a stranger a ride. But I wanted to make sure the kitten got home safe. I didn't care about her. I'm sure she was fine. Yeah, I'm sure. She, it was the middle. It was like 10 a.m. Yeah. It was fine. Yeah. But I'm just like, it's warm outside. Typical Hollywood activities. Yeah, Hollywood It's funny because when you said a little knickknack in the bag, I immediately <laughs> envisioned, <laughs> no, uh. a nutcracker ornament. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> what? That was the first thing. That's what I bring to the table. Um, Nutcracker. Gabby, for me to answer your question, um, <laughs> everything. <laughs> I do everything. To, like, I don't, I used to tolerate everything, I feel like, yeah. in relationships. Because I've always been such a loving and patient and understanding person to a, to a point to my uh, demise. Yeah, detriment. Mm -hmm. and, um, and now, pretty much, I've changed everything. But I think the biggest thing is, like, being mean to me. I do not tolerate oh, anymore. Yeah. Whereas like I really dealt with that for a long time, like literally saying like mean things to me. I am like, I, I just cannot fathom how like you, you come to me to like the little me, like, and I'm such yeah. like a nice and sweet and forgiving and patient person. And if you're mean to me, like, come, like, go. come on. And that's like the, I would say the biggest thing is mm -hmm. really being mindful of that like if, if you feel like you can yeah. do that with me and it's cool because i i've done so much work on myself to be able to communicate clearly and have a grap to what a grapple a communicate clearly to what communicate <laughs> sorry fuck sorry. you sorry. fuck sorry. you sorry <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I really fell for it for too long. Too long. Sorry. Um, and I'm really grounded in my emotions and really be able to like say, like, no, this is how I feel and be and if in a very adult level headed way. Yeah. So if you're still somebody that's like hot tempered and yeah. says mean things like right and impulsive and I yeah, yeah I, I can't do that anymore. I that's don't do uh like backhanded compliments anymore. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like I love sarcasm. I love roast Thing, like and I can I can take a joke yeah like I'm a middle I'm a ginger middle child like I can fucking <laughs> take a joke <laughs> like we had kick a ginger day growing up like I can take a fucking joke but now I don't like any backhanded thing I'm mm. like goodbye yeah goodbye and I don't know why lately I was getting that energy for a little bit and mm. I was just like see ya yeah Good. wouldn't want to be ya yeah just don't get it yeah. it just reflects poorly on you yeah mm-hmm what you got? Uh, I've only got one more thing, and it just Great. says Tulum. Tulum. So guess where we're <laughs> going, like, next week-ish. Ten days? Ten days. Ten days. We're going to Tulum. We're going to Tulum. So some of you may have <laughs> been listening to the podcast yeah, we've, we've episode. we've alluded to it. Yeah, well, funny enough, like, it was that episode where you were like, yeah, I'm doing this with my family. Oh, yeah. And you were literally like, <laughs> you would you want to go? Yeah. And I was like... I mean, yeah, and <laughs> yeah. Like, the decision was made yeah, on, on the podcast, on podcast yeah. that I would be going. And yeah, we're going in 10 days. Yeah, to Tulum. my family's stoked. So my family loves Dorothy. My mom consumes. I don't know if she still does. She probably still does. But like all your content, Love her. you guys are like super similar. I think the first time we hung out in real life, yeah. I told you that. Yeah. And I remember you said something like every man says that to me. And I was like, <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I just meant it like you guys like literally are super similar. Like you're from the same area. You like the same drinks. Yeah. You, bo you both have an aunt Maria who makes baked macaroni. Yeah. Um, so they're stoked about it. Yeah. Uh, I think I wrote it down like in terms of like, what, it, what are you most looking forward to? 
Just chillaxing on a beach. All inclusive. <laughs> it is going to be that. Yeah. But I, I love um, Mexico. I love the weather. Yeah. That, I think that's the biggest thing. Like I love being able to just walk around at night and it's like a perfect 73 degrees. Yep. You just jump in the water and you're uh, good to go. And um, like swim up pool bars. I don't know if our I, has they, that. Oh, yeah. But there's, there's I love few, those. There's a few of them. I think there's one or at least one, maybe two. Yeah. Are there any? I know in the group, the family group chat, there has been like discussion over like, I, I already know you're going to say you don't care. But uh, are there any like things. types of ex- yeah things or excursions? excursions. Yeah, because I've been thinking I'm like oh it'd be good to do some, but like I never really care yeah that much, and I'm like pretty go with the flow. But like, is there anything you were like oh that'd be cool to do? Yeah, I'm very go with the flow. I yeah. I I don't know. I, there was one I thought you'd like. I think it was like shopping related. Like they take you places and you can like oh. th- like take it to. Serve. But the thing is, I think the only day they do it is like the day we arrive. Oh. And we're not getting there until like, I think like the early evening. Oh. And I think it's supposed to be like stupid hot that day. Oh. So we didn't do it. Yeah, that's right. How do you feel about tequila tastings? I'm not a big tequila. Me drinker. neither. But I know have Mexico you had? Amazing. Have you yes, had? I have, uh, okay. I have. And you know, like I like it better. I do. Sure. But um, I'm. I've would n- I be willing to partake? Yeah. For the activity? Yeah. I've never done <laughs> one. I think last time I was in like Mexico, I think it was like my, I think I went like f- I think for like a, my brother's birthday or something a couple years ago. Yeah. Um, and they did one, and I like didn't do it. Yeah. Um. I want to. But I'm like, I'm like, you know what? Let me give it a shot. Because if I'm ever going to do it, it's going to be there. Yeah. And I remember, though, they were like there. They do this thing. And comment below, guys, if you know the science behind it. But they like pour it on your hands and like have you like like kind of wash your hands with it. And I, my understanding is like they do that to show you that it's like there's no sugar in it. And like as soon as it dries off, it's like there's like no stick left. It, it's It's like, I, which to me is like hmm. it gives the impression of like, sanitization like mm-hmm. kind of like yeah like you know when you um use germ hand sanitizer yeah. like eventually your hands are like not sticky anymore yeah but i that's the only thing i remember from it because i didn't drink any of it mm. and my brother almost getting swindled into like buying like a several hundred yeah that sounds away. about right and he's like such a nice guy he's <laughs> he's like because like they have the thing when you're in mexico because it's a huge haggling culture mm. and america is not ha- we do not haggle you you just you can't go into a Walgreens and say six bucks I'll give you three they're like yeah. prices as listed, but uh, it's expected to do that there, and so they're all really good at it, and they always have a solution to any excuse. Yeah, because Americans it'll be like, hey, should you buy this? And it's like, oh well, here's my excuse, and then yeah. it's like, oh okay, well you can't do it. So he's like, he's like, well we're, we're still gonna walk around town. I don't want to bring it. And they're like, oh where are you staying? We'll deliver it. Yeah. And then it's like, it's like, oh well, like Sorry, I'm flying, and they're like, oh we'll wrap it up so you can put it in your luggage. It's like they yeah. always have something, and he yeah. almost got suckered in. But Damn. my my dad, who you're meet, is not a sucker. Yeah. Uh, he's like, you know because of the life he's led like just been on his own for a long long time yeah it's just like number one not a sucker yeah. and so he eventually just walked in and was just like we're leaving now yeah and then when like the old white guy is like we're leaving yeah. then they go like, like ah. all right. <laughs> yeah <laughs> but they see the young blonde dude yeah. they're like ah. yeah. how do you how well do you do with hagglers um is it easy for you to be like no, actually I'm yeah good. yeah yeah totally yeah. I, I think sometimes they can like weasel their way it depends on like my mood um but I remember I was haggling in New York. I went to like Little Italy. Yeah. And I saw a t-shirt and it was Nana's Little Meatball. And my sister's dog's name is Meatball. Yeah. So I was like, I got to get that for her <laughs> or my mom. <laughs> and then I walked up and they were like, $20. I was like, I'm not giving you $20 fucking dollars for a t-shirt. Yeah. And they were like, this, 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 this. I was like, brother, I've got 10 Yeah. And like, you just you just have to like tell yeah. them what it is. And then you got to be like, all right. Be like, all right, see you later. And then yeah. they always go like, okay. Yeah. And then I pull out my wallet, make it seem more than ten dollars, and I just look <laughs> at them and I give them ten. <laughs> but I did buy like a ring in Mexico. Yeah. And I think I wound up spending like twenty bucks. But I, it's like I did the conversion wrong. Yeah. And then afterwards, I was like, I can't believe I paid twenty dollars for this shitty. And then I promptly like lost it in the ocean. Yeah. Did you hear about the Olympian who lost his like he was Italian? He like lost his wedding I ring. I did hear in the about river. this, and then and he then had he like, like wrote a, cute, a poem. Yeah, yeah a cute he's response. like, it'll be together forever. Yeah, and we can throw yours, throw in your there, ring in and there, then we and can renew, renew our, our vows. vows. But I thought it was funny because it was like like you've always asked, and then I was like, she's been asking for yeah. years. He's like, I lost <laughs> the ring, so let's do that thing you've been asking for. Yes. That's so funny. Have you interacted with Italian people before? Real Italian people? Yeah, like online or in real life. 
Um, yeah, in person, but like, and has um, it made you realize how different truly Italian Americans are from them? Yes, <laughs> but I think I like it's funny because. Any actual Italian person loves from you. Italy loves to tell Italian Americans you're not Italian. How, you're, yeah, you're not fucking yeah. Italian. And I get it. Like I get it. Like, but the Italians do. love to tell other Italians they're not Italian. This like is Northern also Italians true. are like you're not that, Italian. That is and true. Southern Italian. Italians always want to complain. I had <laughs> I had one comment blow. I think my most famous comment on TikTok. I think it had like two hundred thousand likes. Yeah. And I almost delete it every week because it still gets likes. Damn. But you know that couple where it's like the Italian dude and the American girl and they blew up because she would like break pasta and yeah, have yeah. watch him cry and whatever. And um, there was like one video where he's having dinner with their family and she's pranking him by like, I think, eating pasta with like a fork and knife yeah. and like cutting it in half. And he goes like, my love, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, da, da, da. And then like as he's like berating her, he like, not berating, but like, you know how they are. He turns a family. He's like, "Sorry to my family," you know, and like yeah. just kind of that. And so I commented. I was just like, "I was like, oh yeah, Italians, like you know, they love to argue or like they love to like do whatever, but they're always polite to family." Mm. And then I said, "Like source, like I'm Italian." And then it blew up. <laughs> and part of the half of it blowing up comments. were people being like, "That's so true," and the other half were like, "You're not, You're fucking, not fucking Italian." Italian. Yeah, and then I think I commented like, "Oh yeah, like I'm Irish or I'm Italian American. Like my family emigrated in like 1905 or whatever." And they're like, yeah. "So you're not fucking Italian?" Yeah, and I was yeah, like, yeah. "I was like, you understand that you're proving my comment right here yeah. that it's like Italians. <laughs> Italians love to argue, but they're always polite to family. Yeah. Like you're literally doing it right now." <laughs> Do you have any famous comments on TikTok? Of uh, that I commented, yeah. I have not one on your own stuff. Obviously. I have one that's right now yeah. that's um, getting a lot of traction, and it was a I, I get a lot of food videos on mm -hmm. my feed. It was a food video of this like steak sandwich that looked amazing. Uh, yeah. Wait, was it made by William? I don't remember what the name. Do you is. know William and um the, oh, the Will ginger girl, William and Levi? Yeah, I love them. They've just we're been gonna, popping up on my feed. Like oh, I just found them. Welcome. But I have a question. I love them so yeah, much. Yeah, me too. We're gonna. We need to talk. about He has about so them. many fonts. Fonts. Like different fonts of himself. Oh I, yeah, like, yeah, into yeah. All right, we'll come back yeah. to it. We, yeah, we're gonna. I'll come write back. it down right now. But um, yeah. So it was like a steak sandwich, and he was like make, putting it all together on this cutting board. Was and it I, William or no? No, oh, okay, it was not. It. it was okay. like one of those like aggressive oh, yeah, cooking yeah, yeah. Bit where they're like <laughs> yeah. slapping everything yeah. on the thing, and it was on his cutting board. And I commented, um, I, I want to be I, on a cutting board. No, no. I would eat the scraps of this off that cutting board. <laughs> yeah. That's how like good all the ingredients look yeah. together. And that one has uh, yeah. is getting been getting some traction. Have you been lately. getting weird replies to it or just like likes? Uh, just uh, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> most of them are like, yeah, same. Um, yeah. But there was one that was like, that's heartburn in a bite, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, all right, buddy. Oh my God. Do you ever get heartburn? I actually really don't. I wish I had last week. Uh, this is how I can tell I'm getting older. I had heartburn for like three fucking days. Um, <laughs> and it's the first that's, time. And I was popping tongues. Uh, I think I had. <laughs> I think I had. Uh, I think it was the. I went out and I don't really drink. Um, and I had like a couple alcohol cocktails. Yeah. And then I just had heartburn for like three days. Mm. And I was like, is this what getting older is? <laughs> I mean, Comment below. Does anyone else alcohol give them heartburn? Yeah. Because I just, it was terrible. But anyways, uh, William and Levi. Oh, I love them. They just, I'm new you to them. You're new to William and Levi. But I went down the rabbit hole. Yeah. And like, because he just dyed his hair pink. Yeah. Before that, it was like bleach blonde. Yeah. But then I went down a rabbit hole. He had a long hair face. Mm -hmm. He, and like this man is a chameleon. Mm -hmm. He's also tall as hell, or yeah. she's short. Both, I think. Um, but, okay, here's what I've learned, and then you can tell me all the things yeah. you learned. So, they're very famous. Yeah. They are, like, you know, swap gender roles. Like, he's the stay-at-home. Mm -hmm. He cooks, whatever. She makes the bread. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a, I think she's, like, an OnlyFans person, mm -hmm. but, like, mm -hmm. does very well. Mm -hmm. I think they live somewhere on, like, the East Coast or something. However, every video, and I don't know why. Maybe you know this. Every video of theirs... You know when you open the comment section and then at the top of the comment section, there's like a thing you can click mm -hmm. and it's like what people are talking about. Mm -hmm. yeah. So like search maybe. Bar. Yeah, search bar. Every single video of theirs, it's William and Levi's age gap. Yeah. Do they I have an age gap? It. I don't know. I, I have been seeing that search they bar seem, a lot. They seem um, the same yeah, age. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. But I'm actually. wondering, I'm like, is she the older one? Is he? I was like, I don't get it. Like yeah. they look like they're like the same age or a few years apart. So you don't know? No, I Let actually don't, below. but I, ha I have been seeing that. I know, maybe we should But every time I click it, 
So I, I'm a sucker for search bar. It doesn't yeah. matter what it is. Yeah. I always click it. <laughs> always click it. And if you didn't know, guys, when you go to search for a TikTok, uh, your search history is there. And everything you clicked. And like, because it doesn't matter what it is, I'll fucking click it because I got to know. Zach search bar reveal when. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, now I know because uh, things that have happened in my personal life recently have made me more aware <laughs> Of my like just yeah, the like way the I interact history. on the internet. Yeah. When before I just because I, I have no ill intent ever. And like I'm like I'm a type of person that like you can just ask me anything. Like it doesn't matter. Like I could I could literally have it could be like big booty bitches twerking and, <laughs> and you'd be like, why'd you click that? And I'll just tell you. I'd be like, oh, I was looking, I was at a I was watching the Camilla Harris thing and it was Megan Stallion, and then the next thing was like, you know, that. And I was like, well, what is it? You know? So like I'll just fucking tell you. <laughs> But I had an experience in my life recently where, uh, you know, that was weaponized. So yeah. But I'll just fucking tell you. I don't give a shit. Yeah. So um, you clicked it, and it did not. Didn't tell. You tell their it's, age. It's, no, the the most popular video is just her like breaking down. i uh, like b- the most things people say about them. Yeah. Which was just talking about like their relationship dynamic and yeah. stuff and whatever. But none of that. He apparently does make like a lot of money on Instagram, though. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Homie's beautiful. Yeah. So I, I imagine like even if she makes yeah. more money, like they're both making yeah, uh, totally. significant and like maybe amount of money. It's maybe they're like getting at the fact that like maybe before they started, like yeah, maybe he blew up. But that was because people love relationships. Yeah. And I've thought about that. Have we talked about that? Like faking a relationship for profit? Yeah. Yeah. I've talked. I mean, even before social media, I had actor girlfriends. It's a thing yeah. you do in L.A. Mm-hmm. And like you have, you have an actor boyfriend, you have an actor girlfriend, you have a gay one, you have a straight, you have a whatever. You have a friend that you agree because there's commercials like you know Toyota's looking for real couples, real couples, and so real friends. Yeah, so I've I've got my buddy, and then we're just like, yeah, we'll show up and we'll kiss and whatever, and (laughs) if we're lucky, we'll make like thirty grand. Um, Did I tell you about my actor girlfriend the one time that I met on set, and she was like a ginger, (laughs) and so I was like, hey, like, do you want to like go out for commercials together? Yeah, and she's like, yeah. And the way that it works um, in the entertainment industry is we essentially have like Craigslist websites where people put up their projects and then you submit to them and you include your headshots or whatever. So when you're doing a couple one, you submit. So if Dorothy and I, we'd both submit, I text you, be like, hey, submit to the Toyota thing. And then in the comments, you put Dorothy, you put Zach, whatever. And so I would message her and we only did it for like a month or whatever. But she was always like two or three days late doing it. Mm. And so I sent her a message. And I didn't know her. We met on set. We just mm. looked like we'd be a good couple. Yeah. And I think she had a boyfriend or something. Mm. And I was like, hey, you know, like super politely. I was like, you know, uh, you know, we haven't gotten an audition. I was like, we might have better luck if we're just <laughs> like, if we're just a efficient. little, yeah, if we're a little bit faster. Yeah. And she like blew up at oh. me. And she's like, I have this going on and this oh. and this and this. And I just went like. No worries. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye, girlfriend. Um, Fake girlfriend. Yeah. I think she still follows me, though. So if oh. you're out there, I hope things hey. are going well. I hope things are going well. Sorry. Hope sorry you're still booked out. and busy, babe. But I had an actor girlfriend recently. We met in actor class. And we even went and like got headshots together and stuff. Yeah. Um, but then she went and had a baby. Um, I know. So if you're listening, I hope things are going great for you and your baby. Yeah. Let me know if you want to get this going again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had an actor husband for a bit. We met on a Honda commercial. Did you ever, we played did you ever uh, do commercials together. We or auditions? Well, yeah, so we met playing that um and then uh we kind of like said we would do it and I don't know if we ever actually ended up yeah. auditioning for anything <laughs> together, but I don't even think we had like took a photo mm. together. So that's the first step, really. Um, but, but I would sub- I think I still submitted <clears throat> for stuff and like said his name yeah. and whatever, but I don't know. Now think I feel like you just need getting. headshots together. Yeah. Yeah, and I have I have a friend, um, Jenny. Jenny, she's, she's my actor friend, and we have a we're both signed with the same commercial rep. Oh, nice. So um, we <coughs> they, both have a photo together. together. Yeah, yeah. And we're we're real friends. Um, wait, did you have things to say about William and Levi? I just love them. I love their dynamic, yeah, and I also love the fuck. breath of fresh air they bring to couple content because yeah. they like their arguments. They like keep in the <laughs> videos and stuff <laughs> like that. Like. Um, I love her sassiness. I don't know. I just, I hate 99% of couples content on TikTok. It drives me so crazy. you're a couple and you're out there, so crazy. Dorothy probably hates I, you. I probably do, honestly. <laughs> but you're used to who's, that. Who's like, you know, you most really people hate? do. 
I think they all just start to get on my nerves after a while, yeah. like especially prank couples. Yeah. Oh my, f I hate that <clears throat> shit so much. Cause I'm like, if like I saw one the other day, like she just came home from working, like she was a nurse and she just yeah. came home from work and she got like shot with a water gun oh, as soon as nah. she came in the door and her face is literally like, <laughs> she right, came in and I'm like, I swear to if. I, have so, I, you know, I don't know. You know what trend I think ruins some couples? You, mm. you know the one that was popular? People might still be doing the it. The painting one? No, the one where you are. Oh, yeah. There was that one. And like uh, she like kept changing his. The men were so bad at drawing yeah. and painting. Oh but there God. was one where um, she was like complaining that he wasn't like following her theme. And so every time it was her turn again, she painted over whatever he painted. <laughs> and so everybody was like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, it was like she drew that. a she drew a field, and so he, he drew a dragon, and she's like, "That's not what I wanted." So she covered it up with clouds and oh. like shit like that. Yeah, I love when it backfires. I love when like one couple is like shitting on their couple, expecting support, and then it backfires. Yeah, I love that. But no, the trend, you know, the one where it's um you're eating and you play rock paper scissors, and the loser has to like run and come back, yeah, and then while yeah, they're running, yeah, yeah. you eat it all. I saw one, and they were like a married couple, and she was like like l fucking hitting him hard and like complaining because she kept losing. Mm. So, and she would, she like came back and like flying kicked him and like slept him in the face, like yeah. all this kind of stuff. Um, and so at the end, or I think she finally won, but she couldn't open the fucking drink, you know? And so then she lost and he chugged the drink and then she came back and hit him. And I guess they had a daughter who started crying and she's like, you made our daughter cry. And all the comments were like, I don't think it was him. Gosh. So I do live for that. That's that so, of and then that gets posted. Like, I know that's it's like, so why insane. would you, why would you watch it back? I like, know, and be like, this. yeah, we're gonna post this. You know who? A couple I do like though. Um, uh, Devin and uh, Aileen. Yeah, Aileen? yeah, love them. I just think it's so like that. You know, all the comments are just about how they've been dating for so long, and there's them still too? no ring. Yeah, and she just. And what kills me is just that she always makes jokes yeah, about yeah. it. I'm sure they're fine. I'm sure they're fine. They're such, they're such I, sweethearts. The, the, just the unsettling of like the joke yeah, about the ring just totally. kills me a little. But I'm sure they know. like, uh, you know how it is. Like you, I feel like you you play into it for the, I'm for sure. the comments and yeah. stuff. But I love their stuff and they're so nice. We've talked a little bit. I like what I like about their stuff compared to other couples is like they just do like silly stuff. Yeah. And it's clear they're like making each other yeah. laugh while they yeah, do it. Yeah. Like, they like each other. Like, yeah. It, it doesn't yeah. feel like. Like either pranks, which fucking suck, or like staged, which yeah. I hate, yeah. or like you're trying to like catch them out and off. Yeah. Um, I like them, and then you know who I also like? Mm. I like um, I'm forgetting her name, but Jack Morrison and what's her name? Mm. He's like the blonde guy with the mullet. He streams, and then she has like brown curly hair. They're like married, oh, but they're like I've on the younger them. side. I'm I'm sorry, I'm forgetting her name. I'm sure they'll pop up on my for you. Is it page bad that tonight? I often follow the guys but not the girls? No. It feels more respectful from my point of view. It doesn't really matter, nah, does I it? I guess it doesn't. Yeah. But uh, maybe, yeah, I feel like, like I, f I follow William, but I, I don't follow her. Yeah. But maybe I should. I but watch I, all their content. I, I don't I just, follow I like, them, I like, his, I like cooking videos. That's how it popped <laughs> yeah. up because I love watching cooking yeah. stuff. I love he the dude. Cook. You know the dude who eats a cucumber every day? No. He got popular because he's like white, but he's like really good at making kimchi. Mm. He would make a ton of kimchi. Interesting. And he would put it in like the brown Tupperware. Hmm. And then like uh and then all the like Korean moms. It was like a trend where Korean people would like put up their Korean grandma and yeah. they'd be like, rate this. And they at first they'd be like, Oh, is he gonna but then every time he would do like the little tiny things, they'd be like, Oh well, yeah, yeah, mom, yeah. Oh. Right. But now he's been popping up and I love it because all the TikToks are like, Are you sponsored by like big cucumber? Because every day he eats a giant cucumber. And so what he does is he shreds it with the, um, what's the tool called? Not mandolin, but something like that, where it's like it's like the white thing and you can like just go back and yeah. forth and it cuts it really thin. Yeah. Um, so he does that and then he puts it in like a deli container and then he just adds different stuff okay. and shakes it up. Okay. So he makes like a tahine based one. He makes like a Korean based one. Like da da da. Okay. But I'm like, I wouldn't be able to do that. Just fucking every eating day. every day. Every day. He's got hyper fixated on yeah. cucumbers right now. Or you know the one that people do where it's like I feel like I feel like saying this is a joke where it's like, hey, it's three AM, I'm super dehydrated. But they make like it's almost like the Korean drink fruit bowl thing. They add like fruit and then like a Korean type of like 
yogurt drink and then like some type of like sparkling beverage and they put ice in it mm. and then they you know what i'm talking about nope mm. all right tell us in the comments tell us in the do comments do you like couples content <clears throat> yeah and which ones hate do you hate them? yeah i I've, I've been inspiring too much hate in this one <laughs> it's okay <laughs> <laughs> usually i feel like i'm pretty good about like talking pretty well but right off the oh. bat right off the bat i was um with with that first question, I was like, "That's only for bi people." Yeah, <laughs> I was like, "What is wrong with me?" I was like, "No," I was like, "I, I just don't think about outfits, but I think about character <laughs> traits." So I'm sorry for being a hater today, guys. Or you let know, me know below. Maybe I wasn't a hater. Yeah, was Zach being a hater today? Yeah, let me know. Let just us know. Too much traffic, guys. There were too many idiots on the road. Exactly. Okay, I told <laughs> the person who commented this that we would a- address it. Okay. So, user DL6HXH11CI7R asked, All right. You have such great chemistry. Nice. Have you considered going out with each other? <laughs> have you? No. Ah. <laughs> I think about it every day. She just won't give me a chance, guys. I've written letters. Oh, my God. Please. I've held the boom box. No, not the boom box. <laughs> Don't deceive the people. No, we haven't. We we've no. talked about this on stream. Yes. We we met like online, like mutual Twitch community stuff. I think when we first like like I almost said matched. When we first <laughs> <laughs> too much time on them date naps, boy. <laughs> <laughs> when we first like connected, uh <laughs> We like, yeah, we had mutual stuff and then we played Overwatch together. Yeah. And I remember like to familiarize myself with you, I was like, let me watch like your YouTube videos. <laughs> and I just picked one and it happened to be one where you were like going through like all the shit that happened with you. <laughs> and we had a good time. But I remember at the time, like, cause I, I don't know if it's my autism. <laughs> like I need to be clear. Like yeah. I need to, which is what we eventually did, which yeah. is the, the point of the, the end of this story. Yeah. Like anyone in my life, Men and women, like at a certain point, I just need to be like, what, what are the bounds of our relationship? Yeah. How do you feel? Um, but yeah, no, we hung out. We went to like a shitty Van Gogh exhibit. Was that the first? Was that the first? That was the did? first in person hangout. Yeah. And then yeah, then we got dinner and then we got yep. drinks and we just hung out. Yep. And then we drove. You like dropped me off and I remember I just looked at you and I was like, hey, just so we're on the same page, where? And we both were like friends. Yeah. Uh, but prior to meeting, in the back of my mind, I was like, I was like, what? <laughs> what is, what is are we friends does she like me <laughs> do i like her but then as soon as we hung out i was like oh no we're friends yeah yeah until she's ready not to be <laughs> 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 i mean i'm having her meet my whole family internationally i'm playing the long long game this is a, this is a <laughs> nick miller uh jess situation the people are gonna take you seriously. So this is really, a long. This my is a mother slow is burn. watching and she's this taking is, it this serious. Is a slow right burn for his lover. I'm totally kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Such a Nick Miller statement. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, it's just not there. Yeah, it's just not. Maybe it, one day. It is, it is possible contrary to popular belief to that be friends to yeah two good looking people that have great chemistry can yeah. be friends you know and that's that so uh i told you <laughs> yeah maybe maybe we if we're both it. 50 and unwed yeah oh we i said that the other day yeah, right? yeah we can yeah. just be in like a gay relationship well, well together. like for the tax benefits yeah you know yeah and we'll have a mansion you know. full of cats yeah and we'll have a couple kids <laughs> we can adopt some for sure yeah we could adopt <clears throat> Should they all be ginger? I feel like it gotta be. Right? Just keep the no. I, I well, we can dye their hair. I'm gonna be well, half of them will dye their hair. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, whichever ones are not naturally ginger. I right? have faith that I'm still gonna be 60 <clears throat> with this hair color. <laughs> I think so. I think so. No, I think I think you'll probably hit a point, and like just for the meme of it, you'll be like, oh, let me just. I'm just gonna go back to natural. See what it's like. Ugh. You don't yeah, think so? maybe. Um, also, I'm thinking about doing like a prank TikTok where you, like, I put on, put on a wig and I'm you like, should. you guys, I did it. So if yeah. you're watching this, you're getting the in right now. Yeah, that you're, you're going to know lying when I post that. You're going to know. But uh, I'm, I'm going to try to make it like really believable, like a really believable, like lace front brown wig. Well, if you really like, want to be believable, you should shave up. your head. That way the, that way the wig will yeah. seamlessly match in. Right. It's like in, it was like in Barbie. When they had Dua Lipa and John Cena, and they were both wearing wigs, but his looked so good because he was bald, <laughs> he was bald. and hers looked so bad. <laughs> and it's like, we couldn't get Dua Lipa's I, uh, a little bit better? I think I could sell it. 
without that. You I'm know? just saying, if you really want to commit. But you know who I'm going to have to message Garnier and be like, hey, by the way, just yeah. a precaution. This is not true. Yeah. You know, I remember I had to do that with like somebody I was seeing. I was like going to be doing some like type of like fake relationship content. Um. And I had to be like, hey, by the way. Don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Did I ask you this already? How do you feel like if you're dating an actor, um, like if your oh. wife's an actor doing like intimate scenes? Oh, and stuff? I don't care. Yeah. No, I don't care. But I don't like to date actors. How do you feel if your partner cared about you? Doing I'm not a fan stuff? of that. Yeah. Um, I dated like my like one of my like long term college relationships was like with an actor, and I just think it's like m- maybe I shouldn't hold on to this because like I have friends that are actors, and I'm like, oh, you're great. But I'm like, I'm like, it, I I don't like to date actors. It's yeah. like, and but I don't like. To, I, don't, I don't know. I want to be. Actors are the worst. It's not even that. Like, I just want to be the creative one. It's not coming from like a place of like I want to be the center of attention. It's just like I just don't want to do it. Yeah. Or like, uh, I think uh, I think I, if I like them, it would be all right. Yeah. Um. But I certainly wouldn't do a musician again. Oh yeah. Yeah. But is that uh, is that your one <laughs> no no from past experience? It wasn't even a bad wouldn't... experience because she was fine. Um, I just just don't wouldn't do it again. Just no. Is that the only uh, career you're like mm, no? You would date. You would not date someone from. Yeah, I yeah. think so. And 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 even so, it's like it's not a hard no. It's just like if I meet like someone, maybe I'm like, not. Mm, I'm like no. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't really. But it is nice to have someone who like understands. Gets it. And I will say when I dated another actor, it was so nice to just be like, have like a, a built in self taper. (laughs) That was really nice. And then because they know you so well, especially if they're an actor, I do feel like my auditions were better. Oh yeah. Yeah. Or like when I've done self tapes with someone I was like crushing on, Mm. it's like, I do think that that chemistry, it it translates, especially for like romantic based stuff. Mm, Yeah. Um, Even just with like eye, eye, eye lines, you know, like, because now when I do my self-tapes, it's like this. Like, I'm looking at myself in the camera. Yeah. And that's fine, but... Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. It does change things. What yeah. about you? Yeah, I mean, I, I, uh, I'm, I, like, I'm, fu- I'm flexible. Like, if yeah. I end up dating an actor, like, obviously, I don't care. It's, it's the <coughs> career. Um, mm-hmm. And then, like, as far as, like, somebody being weird about it for me, I feel like it's... Yeah. You know, it's funny, because there was a point where I actually felt like I kind of understood that. Me too. And I did date yeah. someone that had a problem with it, and uh, mm-hmm. and he cheated on me. <laughs> the irony. Dude. So um, yeah. after that, it really was just like yeah. an immense like fuck you. Like if you don't get it, you don't get it. Like because for me, it's like you, you just it's it boils down to trust and knowing it's a yeah, job. Yeah, totally. At the end of the day. Although I do get it, like because I know like Penn Badgley for like the most recent season of You or whatever. Yeah, he said he wanted like, to. Yeah, tone it and back. I know there are some actors that like don't do it in general. Yeah, and I do get that. I could see myself like once I'm married. Yeah, if I have a consistent job. Yeah, because if it's a film or a one-off, it's like okay, fine. Yeah, but if you're in a show where it's like several times a yeah. season, um, I could see myself being like this. But it, it would it wouldn't be coming from a place of like my partner's uncomfortable because I wouldn't be with somebody that is uncomfortable like that. But I do think generally speaking, 99% of love, intimate sex scenes, you don't need. Yeah. No, a hundred percent. I don't think they service the plot. Yeah. Like, you know, and I think, especially nowadays, like I think you can accomplish the same thing yep. without actually without doing this. That. I think it's just yep. like, like it's provocative for no sake. Yep. And I do think most audiences would appreciate like instead of doing a love scene really do the moment before really focus on like the leading up yep and like really have like not like necessarily foreplay but like really hit on the banter and then like you know like even if you're gonna have like a steamy make out undressing you know once the bedroom door closes right cut yeah and then go to the moment after yeah you know it's like you don't we don't need the the grinding we don't need all of that we don't need tongue we don't like you know audiences are smart we understand that they bang (laughs) exactly not all that's necessary Mm -hmm. all right we got uh we'll do two little things then we'll start to do our little uh farewells we got a quick one. Jay Bonkers 96 wants Jay to know uh, what damn, are Jay y'all's Bonkers. go-to coffee orders? Um, 
you know, lately, because I'm back on caffeine, yeah, back I'm not on, on caffeine. caffeine. Um, I love like an iced Americano mm. or, uh, I, it's such a, such a little boy order, but I love like a mocha frappuccino. I love, love I love, love a coffee, chocolate love coffee. That you love fraps. I do. That's so fun. Before I just liked mochas. I still do. Yeah. But I think it's like the slushy element. Yeah. It's like, like a milkshake. I love, I love milkshakes. Yeah. I, I had a couple weeks there where it was like every four days I was just craving a milkshake. Mm. I don't know what it Valid. was. I was just like, I want a fucking milkshake. When I was uh, like 16 and mm-hmm. I just started getting into going to the gym, yeah, there was a cookout, which uh-huh. is a East Coast like yeah. drive through spot that's super good with milkshakes by me. And it was mm-hmm. right next to my gym. And I literally, after every workout, yeah. I would go through the drive through and I would get a peanut butter banana milkshake mm-hmm. with triple Reese's cups in it. And that was my post workout. Talk about I like mean, counter. Yeah. It, well, I was probably protein. gaining weight from going to the nah, gym. You were 16. <laughs> Metabolism go crazy I, at that age. And not, not in these genes. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this bloodline. <laughs> um, yeah. So uh, great. Oh, um, coffee order. Uh, yeah. So fun fact about me: I mostly fully switched over to matcha. Matcha girl. Um, yeah. Matcha girly, which is crazy. At leisure, West Side, hot yoga. La girl. <laughs> girl. 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 <laughs> Um, if you know me at all, you know, I was like hooked on coffee crazy. I used to have an insane amount of espresso on a daily basis. Okay, Sabrina. Um, that's that mean <laughs> espresso. But, uh, <laughs> but now I do matcha lattes, matcha nice. uh, with oat milk and honey, um, hot preferably. But, uh, if I would, I do occasionally treat myself to a regular latte and I'll just do a regular treat latte yourself. with oat milk and some sugar. Nice. Sugar, Little bit sugar. of sugar. Sugar, sugar. Mm. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Oh, Final fraps. question. Can't explain it. From Milkshake Man. Ooh. Mindy Tool. If you could remake any movie, but you had to play the entire cast, <laughs> <laughs> who, which would it be? Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> <laughs> Marriage Story. Schindler's List, <laughs> Gangs of New York, <laughs> Titanic, Human Centipede. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> uh, what would be other good ones? Um, I don't know. That's a hard question. <laughs> <laughs> I I would just say Mamma Mia because I love Mamma <laughs> Mia so be, much. That'd be pretty. And good. I would I would love to <laughs> play Harry, all the roles. Harry Potter would be funny too. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, Guardian Leviosa. <laughs> He was the chosen one. I would love to play Voldemort. Mm. That's my Snape. <laughs> Always. <laughs> you know, uh, what's his name? Alan Rickman, right? Rick, yeah. Rick, not Rickman. 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 Alan Rickman. Uh, I've never seen this movie, but somehow, as you know, you know this. You guys probably know this, too. My feed is pretty close to, like, I think a lesbian woman just <laughs> on any given day. Um, or just, like, or the girlies. I'm, I'm on, like, I'm, my, tic- my TikTok feed gives gay. Most of the time. Uh, yeah, like all Chapel Ronin, uh, but uh, thirst traps of like stuff that women like. But <laughs> what's been popping up, there's like a movie with Alan Rickman and he's like dating like a younger girl mm. and it's just been popping up. Mm. I think there was like one clip where it's like, you know, she's like sitting with her legs up and he's like in his like British accent or whatever. He's like, he's like, you should remove your knickers. And he's like, or should I? And then it's like the edit and the cut. Oh. And then there was another one where he's like in the car. And then all the comments are like women being like, this is why I'm into older men. Like, da 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 da. But I'm looking at him and like, he's just like the most like basic looking old dude. Like, <laughs> he looks, he looks like a fucking history teacher. But like, I will never claim to understand the female psyche. But mm-hmm. I will claim to be have uh, the same for you page as them. <laughs> so, but that's been it's popping up. Clearly a part of your psyche. Too. I guess so, man. I guess I don't know. One of us. I <laughs> think I think it's just because I like watch anything, mm. and I'll I like to read comments. So then it usually mm. plays lots of times. So then it gets up there. Uh, um, maybe I just got to be in the mindset of my audience. 
perhaps. But I'm like, I don't see the appeal. And I see the appeal of a lot of people, but yeah. not that one. Well. Why did I start talking about that? Cast, who would you... Oh, uh, remaking a movie. Oh, yeah. Harry Potter. That was yeah, my snake. Yeah, yeah. Remember the Harry Potter YouTube? Yes. Yeah, I very ju- Harry was Potter. just watching with it the, With the puppets. Snape. Yeah. Snape. <laughs> but there was also Snape. one that was Snape. popular Snape. that had uh, people in it. And you remember Lavender Brown? That's Lavender Brown. I don't remember that. Uh, yeah, let me know in the comments. I'm pretty sure there was one, and I think it had Darren Chris in it. It was like a remake of Harry Potter as a musical, but it was like a spoof. Hmm. And it was like one of the jokes, because it was like early, was like, you know, they 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 had one character had like a stereotypical, I think, like Chinese name. And then there was the like Asian girl that Harry Potter's into in like one of the movies. You know, mm-hmm. he has that girlfriend for a little mm-hmm. bit. They're like, I am the chosen one. Like, she only likes you because you're the chosen one. I am the chosen one. But then the joke was uh, like somebody would come up and be like, oh, is that so and so? And they're like, that's Lavender Brown. You know, how dare you assume? Hmm. But it was like a musical. Hmm. Yeah. Now that's stuck in my head. So you go go watch it. Moldy moldy yeah. mold. Oh, moldy 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 <laughs> Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> How many people are going to go Ron, watch that now? Ron. Ron <laughs> Weasley. Who was your favorite? Hermione. What is your Harry Potter house? It changed. It okay. used to be Gryffindor. Last time. Oh. What was that? He's like, you're wants, not a good person. Who wants to be a Gryffindor? Isn't that the most annoying one to be? Or is that like main character syndrome? Do, is, don't we all hate? Don't we all shit on Gryffindor? I thought Do that was we? the whole thing. Yeah. They're wow. like fake. Like nobody's actually a Gryffindor. Wow. All right. Well, I used to be. Yeah, but you look like you'd be a Gryffindor. Last time I took the test, I was actually Ravenclaw. Ooh. So I, I don't know if I that's accurate. I can see you as Ravenclaw. That, I took that like, I think over a year ago. Okay. I always felt like I... You know, do you do? You, I feel I like you can know. guess mine. No, really, no. just guess. Everybody always gets it do immediately. People say Hufflepuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I am such a Hufflepuff. <laughs> and I remember when I was younger, I like wanted to be a Gryffindor. Like when yeah. I was like ten, because yeah. we all did. Yeah. But then yeah. every time I've taken the test, and I've tried all of them, Pottermore, whatever. Yeah. And I'm oh, I've done the filters. Always Hufflepuff. Mm. Interesting. But I'm so down with it because me and our pats would really get along. Yeah. Plus the it, the joke is that Hufflepuff <laughs> is always puffing. Hmm? Wheat. Oh. Like, it's the joke where it's like, I think, like, Ravenclaw, oh. like, doesn't party or, like, does raves. Hmm. Gryffindor's, like, having, like, a kickback. Like, they're the beer people. And then hmm. Hufflepuff is just always, like, getting high. Huh. But, like, my understanding is Hufflepuff is basically Gryffindor without being, like, yeah. an ego about yeah. it. Yeah. Um, because they don't care about being first. Yeah. But same thing. Like, they protect their friends, whatever. Uh, what but, is Slytherin doing? Like, like their kind of party? I think yeah. they're, like... I think they were either like doing drugs or like, yeah. or they, they were having like an exclusive party, mm. you know, like line at the door kind of thing. Tell us in the comments. Yeah. What house do you? What think house are you? What house would you yeah, think we are? We are. And why does everyone what immediately you? know I'm Hufflepuff? You do. You do have a Hufflepuff face. Yeah. It's like when we were at that. Uh, <laughs> we were at an influencer event. I went with Dorothy to her thing, and it was like cosmetic. And I was like, I was like, oh, I should have dressed like a little bit more like. <laughs> <laughs> like influency, cosmetic, makeupy, uh, and you were just like you were like you you c- we can just tell that you're straight. And I'm like I couldn't get by energy like not even a little bit. And you were like no. And I'm like I don't get that because I remember a couple years ago for my birthday, <laughs> I did a photo shoot with a um, friend of mine, and I wanted to do like a nude shoot. Yeah. And I wanted to kind of like embrace like my feminine sides. And I remember my sister and mom were talking about it. And they were like, you're just not feminine, Zach. They were like, you just look like, it was just like, that's just a man doing that. And I was like, what is it about me that I can't, I couldn't give any level of like gay, they energy if I wanted mm. to. It's got to be like something, same thing with Hufflepuff. Just give, be. give that vibe. So let me know in the comment. Why, why can I not? Do you think energy? Zach gives by energy at all? How come I can't even cosplay as it? Cosplay. <laughs> yeah. Why can't, why can't I do it at all? Even a little bit. And then for me, I feel like, I feel like it's so obvious I would be bisexual and yet nobody in the real world ever thinks I am. Sorry, cramping. Oh, <laughs> I'm good now. Stretch it out. I don't know why that happened. <laughs> it's just been it's just sitting too been, long today. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We've, we've had a long sit. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Why don't you... Uh, words of wisdom? Yeah, I'm let's words of wisdom. <laughs> stand for your wisdom. You might have to yeah, crouch. Yeah. Fit check. Hey, fit check. 
he suited up today. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, I had an audition, and then we tried to match, and yeah. I was like, I'm Black not, tie? I don't want to change. Yeah, and Dorothy's always down. Yep. Uh, <laughs> hey, from back here. <laughs> Standing Zach unlocked. That's right. If you were worried that New I angle. was just a floating body without legs, which was like a running Twitch joke of mine for a while. <laughs> I've got him. I've got the yams. He's got the legs. Uh, I feel like we already said mine. Don't waste your energy on people who are not going to match your energy, match your freak. Like That's there, are, There are literally so many people on this planet. Yeah. And I don't mean just romantically. I mean platonically. I also mean professionally. Yeah. Like there's just so much stuff out there. So I promise you life will get better when you are just like, not ruthlessly, but like just authentically yourself. What's the word I'm thinking of? You know, mm. unapologetically. Mm. When you're unapologetically just yourself, yeah. And when people are just not matching it, it's like, cause, sure. Like the way I used to think of it is like, I just didn't care enough that I was like, oh, okay. Like, yeah, you don't exactly view things the same way as me or match or whatever. Like, that's okay. Like, we can still be chill. Like, yeah. you don't have to, and that's fine. But when you start just like sticking to yourself your value whatever you're going to start attracting the people that do match with that yeah and it's so much better to have a group of friends to have a job to have a partner that's just like so down with who you are yeah and you don't have to like you know on the worst end censor yourself or belittle yourself or demean yourself to match them and on the not bad end you know just like not be encouraged for like yeah. being yourself because there's so many people out there that'll just be fucking stoked for you to be true to yourself Love it. So that's me. That's great. Yeah, I mean, mine is kind of in line with that. And I would say, um, and I think a lot of the girlies are already riding this wave right the now. Girlies. Of just, um, it's always serves you to like prioritize your friendships and mm -hmm. bettering yourself, you know, mentally and physically and, um, you know, whatever, if it's your like career, your skill set, picking up a new hobby and things like that, like that always serves you. And I think this year I'm really learning how to like not take men so seriously. Oh yeah. Um, and, and letting those other things really be the priority and, um, and not to say that I don't still value like relationships and things like that, because I definitely do, but just allowing that other stuff to be the forefront. And that way you're more likely to kind of fall in line with something that mm -hmm. actually suits you well. And rather than, uh, settling or, yeah. um, like just like kind of getting stuck in something that just is really not working for you. Cause you're really like, I really want to make this work. Yeah. You know, so get a hobby. <laughs> that is my advice for the week. Ditch the men, get a hobby. Ditch the men, get a cat. Yeah. And maybe you'll find a cooler, awesome, more partner that yeah. is at your pottery class. At your hobby class. Yeah. Yeah. We should take a pottery class. You want to take a pottery class? I've been so, wanting to. So for we're going to have a Bob Ross podcast yeah. and then yeah. we're going to go take a pottery class. Yeah. I'm down. But we should wear name tags that we're not together. Yeah, we, we always we, joke. Every yeah, time we go out, people yeah. just assume we're together. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> I, I this is one thing? final yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we, I was, was so going to ask you guys, what, what's a good way to tell people in public <laughs> that we yeah, are she, she not real quick. dating? Because we did have an interaction the other day of mm. a girl that, um, so if Zach ever thinks a girl is cute in public, I try to draw her attention She's over to us wingman. to have an interaction with him. Yeah. But when people see us, they just immediately assume. Um, and that is exactly what happened. And she kind of asked him like, oh, are you the content boyfriend? Because it was at a, an influencer <laughs> event. And I was like, no, like he's friend like yeah. we're but friends we, we overlapped each other it was so funny <laughs> like at the speed of light we were both like no, no! we're just friends and she took off she's like yeah. okay goodbye and she <laughs> ran and i was like oh, okay so like what is the best way to tell people without it seeming like you know uh, maybe we should um when people ask we should maybe we should just say we're related oh that's good yeah and what, we could what just should settle. we be we could be cousins Bro no yeah cousins yeah, I guess we could we could we, we could pull brother, out. Brother, I feel sister. like we could pull out brother sister. Yeah, I mean for people who don't know, I guess I don't think we look similar at all. I feel like it could pass close enough. Like I feel like if we were on siblings or dating, you know that that trend <laughs> show where they look at it. I don't. I think ninety percent people, people would, say, would dating? say dating. Yeah, I don't think we have like. Well, any, it's I don't think the drastically different hair colors that I think would confuse yeah, most. But people. we don't have any similar features. I, I guess think. not. 
What do you guys think? What What should we tell people yeah, we are related? Yeah, siblings are dating right now. Yeah. Could we pass as siblings? <laughs> should we tell people cousins? Yeah, but I think <laughs> I think that would be good. Like, we just need to insert. That's smart. When they come over, you could be like, oh, this is my cousin. This is my cousin! Yeah, I'd be like, oh, this Zach. is my sister. This is my cousin. Hey. Yeah. All right. I think, I think we just found a solution it. right here on the Boom. pod. Don't even comment it unless you unless you have a better solution yeah. than that. D- we're divorced. <laughs> that, that people would be running. Exes. Running. Yeah, right. One this day, is my ex husband. <laughs> <laughs> the girls would be taking off. Yeah. No, no but way. I'd be I'd be husband material. Ex husband material. Yeah, but in order to be ex husband material, you had to at one point been husband yeah. material. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Yeah. We'll try not to do two months. Yeah. And comment below if you think we should do a Tulum episode. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I'll I'll bring a mic. Yeah. We'll see if we can get something of decent quality for you in Tulum. If it's absolutely You know, I was vlogging the other day. I haven't posted it yet, but I was literally just using my phone camera. Yeah. I mean, I could bring my camera. Oh, yeah. You should. Yeah. And it has like, I have a little furry furry mic to put on it. You'd want like photos of yourself and stuff, right? Yeah, I guess I could do that. Be a good little content creator. Yeah. yeah. You'll plus I'm sure your fits are gonna be great. So. Yeah, you know, I still need to shop for that trip. <laughs> I, I just went to the thrift store and I got the silkiest Hawaiian t shirt. Oh. I know. Are right? you gonna have a Hawaiian vibe in there? Yeah, I usually like to uh, have a couple and then yeah. I bought the hoochiest daddy swim shorts. Oh, love it. Yeah. Great. Mm. I've been working on the yams. I gotta show it off. You gotta show off the yams. Gotta show off the yams. <laughs> but I hate men's bathing suit because they always have liners in them huh? i don't know if you if you've ever yeah, worn like yeah, men's bathing yeah, suits yeah. i hate them they have like built-in mesh yeah like yeah. tidy whities and i hate it okay it's so uncomfortable hmm. these don't no your they hoochie, do your hoochie daddy ones yeah well they don't do? sell the hoochie daddy because like for some reason mm. they believe that it like you need it because it like i don't know is like protection but i'm like i don't understand hmm. like if the if the shorts come off, the the lining is going to be gone too. Like I don't hmm. comment below why it was a thing. Why why, why they ever did it? Yeah, um, I think mesh. it's like maybe the same thing as wearing underwear. Like it it keeps things situated situated. <laughs> you know, as I like to say, like you know, smuggling grapes keeps the grapes intact. Keeps it, yeah, it makes it look. Yeah, you know, it keeps it keeps the mystique, the mystery, the mysterious, the mystery of it. Can't can't see how many coins are in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's no outlines. All right, we gotta go. Nothing like ending the podcast in a conversation about your dick. I, I was talking about change. And that's a wrap for today. All right, see you next time. Toodle do. Toodle do.